the conversations at sankalp are focused on identifying the challenges that block us developing solutions and co-opting the ecosystem participants who would help us in creating and delivering impact at scale the climate change is challenging the way that we as humans have been living in the past uh, at least 3 centuries or 2 centuries so there's a significant mind shift that needs to happen not only you know, among people that are living in informal settlements and so on that all of us uh, so that we can be part of the solution i support greater collaboration between india and africa as these two regions we believe will be the two engines of global economic growth and social transformation in the 21st century we can look at the the untapped resource of women's economic productivity as an as an enabler for solutions in in the climate crisis we can look at empowering women as a solution multiplier you know and, and something that can really help uh, and and not only help but actually is essential in in achieving these climate goals investing in resilience is paramount for the region and so I'm talking not just talking about infrastructure I'm talking as well about the sort of soft infrastructure you know the social the protection safety nets and the education and the early warning systems and the community response when a disaster hits India is particularly a, a, a point of light let's say in in this uh in this kind of stormy uh external environment um you know we see that growth continues to be quite um strong and we can see that there's quite a few um excellent examples that uh, have the potential to grow and i think there's no doubt there are a lot of headwinds there's a lot of dependence but obviously there are new ways of working where business really needs to now step up and start contributing to the direction because you're right the sdg goals we might get delayed but i think the direction of travel doesn't change we need to be committed to it we need to travel because i think the idea is that we need to achieve if it's not 2030 it would be 2035 but it doesn't mean that we change our direction we change our goals angel investing is essentially the catalyzing tool that the continent needs in order to uh, uh pretty much push or initiate the appetite for further investment that needs to happen on the continent that you have to design for context there is not one digital solution there is not one approach it depends on your learning needs your country's digital maturity your national priorities even the maturity of your health professions regulation system perspective we're seeing two different worlds we're seeing impact which is embracing some tech to scale up and we're clearly seeing uh, traditional asset management which are embracing impact because it's necessary i am really concerned about whether we the world and india can meet our sdg goals i think that uh, mid term evaluation needs to be done because it has been disrupted by by covid and by by the conflict in europe but uh, i'm sure that uh, for the world to succeed in sdgs india has to succeed there